<laughs> Talk to me, baby. <laughs> Woo! Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, what's going on, baby? Talk to me, baby. How you been, man? Oh, uh, we're back. We're back. Love it. Um, I've been blessed. Highly favored. Can't complain. Man, that's what's up, man. You know, uh, last interview did good. Did numbers went viral. Keep your D take. <sighs> oh yeah. Well, you know, I mean, I guess you're you're helping me save some lives, huh? I, I, yeah, I think so, I, man. I asked for. <laughs> How have you been since our last interview? Bless the highly favored. Uh, out of trouble. Um, a lot of things, man, have been a uh, been uh, awakening. So slowly, I just uh, I just been being humble about everything that comes across the table. Anything new going on with you? Any shows? Any anything? Any updates on anything? <sighs> or anything you could talk about? Yeah, I better. <laughs> um, so the reason why I say I better was because, all right, so I walked into the Zeus building and it was amazing, the meeting that took place. Okay, so I talked to LJ and I promised him that I would not have this conversation with anybody and, uh, I feel like it's like essential that I let certain people know that are waiting, that have been waiting for this for a while. Uh, I was offered the Orlando Brown show. Oh! Over at Zeus Network. Congratulations. Uh, I know you've been wanting to do that for a while. Yes, sir. Man. <laughs> Man, thank you, bro. Congrats, bro. I know you've been. I know you've been working on that. Man. Yes, Since sir. our first interview, I think we talked about it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I came in here with the script all crying and stuff. Man. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, they offered the Orlando Brown show, and um, I'm very, very happy to oblige. Bro, so, that's dope, man. I'm happy for you, man. Thank you, sir. That's dope, man. I just can't wait to see it. Thank you, sir. Man, oh man, Orlando Brown. Uh oh, Orlando Brown was on show. Uh oh, look. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's dope, man. Thank you. Well, I thought we would, you know, get right into the biggest thing going on right now, man, and that is Cat Williams. Uh, shook the internet, man. Uh, he did this interview with Shannon Sharp, and uh, he said a lot of stuff, man. You know, what was your initial reaction to the interview? Like I told one of my best friends that brought me over here, uh, Millie, uh, my best friend and producer, it's like, what was done to Cat to make him do that? There's a lot of people that have no respect for the game of comedy. And there's a lot of people that, now, what, before I go deeper, I will say that I don't, I, I, it's none of my business, the personal relationships and all the stuff that I was talking about. So I'm not going to talk about that. But I will talk about what I've experienced. And what I've experienced is sitting in front of Cat Williams at his own house, $3 million mansion in Malibu. And this man told Tory Hart exactly what Kevin Hart did in order to be where he's at. Now, I don't know if it was Kevin that pissed him off. I don't know who it was that pissed him off. But I do understand that uh, the comedy world is nothing to play with. And since, you know, Richard Pryor left us, God rest his soul, it's more like, you know, everybody's trying to be Richard Pryor, you know, and, and I can't put myself in position to not understand why some people just don't have the, the kind of respect for Cat that they should have. Um, I will also say that a lot of people know that he knows that he's helped them in a major way. Huge ways. Silently. For no recognition or none of that. It's just being, you know, who he is as a person. And and uh, when I sat in front of him with Tori Hart that night, uh, when Rank when Reno Rankin was still alive, it was more like Kevin been pissing off a lot of people, you know, comedically. You know what I'm saying? And and I think that 
instead of trying to bash somebody that knows what they're talking about and bash somebody that has respect in the comedic, the, the, the comedy world, I think that they need to look deeper into why is he letting this information go? Why is this information just now being released? Why, I mean, come on, he's, why does his chain look bigger than any rappers that I've ever seen rap? Why, out of all the comedians, does he still have a $3 million mansion in Malibu? Why, out of every single comedian, does he still get, get, get picked on, it, but, but still looks like he's getting a check for nothing just to sit on his couch and everybody else look like, you know, there has been. I'm, I'm just saying, like, you know, I did agree with a couple of things that was said by Ari Spears. I understand, you know, we do love drama as a nation, as a population of people, the human race, whatever the case may be, blase, blase, yes, yes, yes. But my main thing is, why are you saying this and then at the end of your rant, you sound like you're kind of jealous and you're kind of mad. You sound like you got some things going on that you don't want people to know about. The skeletons in your closet, skeletons in Cedric's closet, the skeletons in Jamie's closet, the skeletons. skeletons in everybody's closet that cat knows about who pissed him off that's not and don't just think that's my question to you who pissed him off who do you think pissed him off well it, it would seem as if a lot of people pissed him off no it was only one person and they have a clan of people behind them hmm. yeah it was kevin so at the end of the day i'm just gonna keep it real with you and and, and, and it's like you know kevin doesn't want to be a dinosaur he's really a Velociraptor and 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 you know some people are actually T-Rexes and we have a system to break in this universe now if I keep going with this posting that everyone's privy to it's going to unlock certain systems in the universe that prove that dinosaurs are actually not extinct that's what Cat knows he knows the inner workings of how people turned into huge comedians and I guess you he know, says Kevin, Kevin is an industry plant. No, nah, man. I mean, you know, um, Kevin is a dinosaur, and I, I <laughs> and I, and I can't, you know, I'm not gonna go back and forth with you. You know, he's Frankie Lyman, and you know, ooh ah, ooh ah, ooh ah, why do birds sing so gay? You know that. Okay. <laughs> well, I think some of the biggest uh, <laughs> news from this interview was when he said he turned down fifty million four times no, he didn't. to protect his integrity no, he and his virgin hole. No, he didn't. He did that. He did that to say that Kevin Hart took fifty million to unvirgin his hole. Can you explain a little bit? No, I just told you what happened with that. So, so you don't believe Cat when he says that he turned down fifty million for? No, times. I believe that was a, a a punch at what he did, what Kevin Hart did for that movie Get Hard. He showed y'all what he did. He sucked <laughs> Will Ferrell's <laughs> to get hard. Oh. Now he's high. Now he's acting all hard. <laughs> Every picture he just. Short. Oh, he wasn't ready. <laughs> All that. It's the same thing, man. You know, it, I don't put myself in any kind of position to think that somebody is good when they have four people writing their jokes. Kevin Hart has a team of people that write his jokes. Kevin Hart writes some jokes, yes, but that's not the real Kevin that you... I come here telling you all the time who's the realist and who's not. Kevin, I told you when I first came here, bro, Kevin Hart is not that tall Kevin Hart is not that tall 50 Tyson is the real Kevin Hart so if we're gonna make sense of make sense of some 50 Tyson is the real Kevin Hart so all that that Kevin got right now acting like Kevin is Kevin all that all that the house is all that that man was raped robbed 
and belittled. They are raping and pillaging every single thing on this earth. That's not Kevin Hart. The is what you call him, right? Yeah, that's the real Kevin Hart. So before somebody put somebody in position to call them a call them crazy, call them stupid and dismiss them. They need to understand what they look at before they open their mother mouth. I know 50 Tyson personally. I know the Beatles personally. I just left the studio. I can't put myself in anybody's position for them. I can put myself in my own position, but I'm not going to put myself in my own position to act like these are not the people that I say they are. A facelift don't change. And that's what some people got to understand about this life. 50 Tyson didn't deserve that. Deion Sanders didn't deserve that. Sammy Davis Jr. didn't deserve his legs to get taken. Diddy don't deserve hat. If you motherfuckers really knew about what Illuminati is, it's not about Illuminati, bro. Illuminati is the 12 disciples of Jesus Christ <laughs> that still live today. That's Illuminati. The devil always want to take something and make it his. Illuminati is mine. The 12 disciples of Christ that still live to this day, that act as, as, as angels, that, that help people that do the right thing righteously, that test people when they ask God for certain things. And then they get, they get tested so much that they don't, even wanna, they don't even want the gift no more. This is what I'm saying, bro. You can't put people in position to answer questions that actually know who these people are. Hello, beautiful people. If you are experiencing abuse, or having a past experience to divorce, you do not have to suffer anymore. All you have to do is click the join button on the top of my YouTube channel and make an appointment. I will be glad to talk with you. Until then, God bless.